I'm Jenny Carlson here at ASA Hall of Fame Stadium. The Sooners are back in the Women's College World Series. They made it a year ago, but things did not end the way that they wanted. This year, they're talking about a national championship. Sooner coach Patty Gasso says this is the best team she's had since her 2000 national championship team. They just might win that championship they so desire. We had a chance to talk to some of the Sooners after their open practice today. Here's what a few of them had to say. I think the difference is last year, I think our biggest goal was to get to the World Series and we had a lot of struggles going into postseason. We didn't have our main players playing in positions. Everyone was just out of positions. We were just trying to get out on the, in, on the field and play as hard as we can to get as far as we could get. And just being on the field, seeing all the stands, just picturing it filled with people tomorrow, it's going to be so exciting. I mean, and just being able to get back here, I mean, be one of the eight teams to be at the World Series, just an honor. And there's eight great teams here and I'm so excited to go and play tomorrow. I think it means a lot because we worked really hard this season because last year wasn't exactly how we wanted to end it. Um, it was kind of a big deal last year just to get here, but this year I think we're really looking to win it. And so that's kind of our focus this year. I mean, I just keep like thinking back to when I was watching it with my family, sitting on my couch, you know, supporting the Sooners and stuff. And now I'm here. And um, I mean, I've played in this venue a couple times with various teams. I mean, once this year so far, but this is just completely, I mean, seeing these bleachers and, you know, just imagining the fans that are going to be here. I'm just, I'm so blessed and stoked. I'm just ready to go. We're expecting him to come out and be aggressive. I mean, we... I've watched film on them. They steal bases. They do all the little things to try to make things happen. And so our focus today was just preparing for all the little things because those are what's going to win you games. And so, I mean, they have a great pitcher on the mound. they got great offense and defense. So we know they're going to be a challenge. She, she can do a lot of good things. And I, and I you know, I equate uh, Kalani to, uh, to uh, Babe Ruth. And uh, there wasn't many people that could be in the circle or be on the mound and throw the ball as well as Big Ruth and Kalani did and hit as well as they do also. But more than anything else, she's probably one of the most humble people in the world that I've ever met. And Jessica's right along those type of lines. And, you know, the program that we had with the national team, I came back to USF this year and kind of, you know, we, we're going in a good direction. We have been for a while, but I saw the type of class that we had in our program that was the type of class that was involved in this program. And we wanted to emulate that. And I don't think there's anything wrong with doing that. And, uh, you know, it's worked out well, but um, <laughs> we're going to have a lot of fun uh, this summer. And uh, tomorrow's going to be competition. Make no bones about it. Kalani might like me right now, but tomorrow, <laughs> you know, she's not going to like stuff. And that's right. And that's the way it is. Okay, but it's the way it is. Because I wouldn't expect anything different. And, and she knows that. And Coach Castle knows that. And our team knows that, too. OU opens Women's College World Series play on Thursday at noon against South Florida. They're on the field behind us right now. South Florida known for its pitching. Their coach Ken Erickson, a pitching guru in the softball world, but they're going up against Kalani Ricketts, player of the year in college softball. It's going to be a great pitching matchup. Be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoma.